Classification of Plants Classification means to categorize things according to their similarities. Classification happens everywhere, be it at home or school. For instance, we classify the foods that we eat. We classify the clothes that we wear. We also see books are classified in different types in a library. Many things can be classified in more than one way. You could have also classified the foods into foods that you like and foods that you do not like. Have you ever wondered why classification of things is important? Yes, it helps us to organize things, track and compare different things. Do you know there are millions of different plant species on earth? Have you ever wondered how difficult it would be for a scientist to study each of them? While all plants have similar parts of plants that are essential for its living, but often they look different. These differences are used to group plants into different types. While there are many ways to study plant classification, one way is to group them based on their sizes. We see a lot of plants around us. Some plants are big and strong. Some plants are small and weak. Trees are big plants. They are quite strong. They have many branches and strong woody stems. Shrubs are smaller than trees. They also have many branches and woody stems. Herbs are small plants with soft and green stems. They are smaller than shrubs. Climbers and creepers are also small plants. Stems of these plants are very weak. Climbers stand erect with the help of another plant or object. Whereas creepers do not stand erect. Creepers crawl along the ground. Another classification can be based on where they live. Classification system is very useful. It is used by people in different kinds of work. Scientists classify plants to help explain relationships of different species of plants and to be able to learn newly discovered plants.